Okay, here's a quick recap of where we are and what's next. We've created our simple channel component that's passed a name property and can handle click events. But if we think back to the app we're designing, there will likely be many channels. So how do we list multiple channels? Well, to handle this, we'll create a new React component with the responsibility of creating multiple channel components. Let's create another component that we'll call channel list. We'll do this just as we did with the channel component, declaring our class channel list that extends react.component. Then we'll implement a render method that returns a UL tag. And inside the UL tag, we'd like to have each of our channels rendered. For the moment, let's just hard code one channel, but we'll circle back to this and figure out the best way to render multiple channels in a few moments. Now where we're calling reactdom.render, let's swap out the channel for the channel list component we just created. Okay, so now we're seeing the basics of composition with React. In other words, we're embedding a React component inside another React component, creating a parent-child relationship. Let's refresh the page and see what we get. Well, it looks pretty much the same, except if we inspect the source, we see that now we have an li tag inside of our ul tag. Let's mock a list of channels using an array. Next, we'd like to render this array as channel components. The first question you may have is, how should the newly created channel list component access this array? We've got two choices. Our channel list could actually access the channel array directly. It's within scope currently, but that's not a good approach. You'll see why in one of the next videos. A more appropriate way would be to pass the list from some parent component down to the child component. We'll actually look at an approach of using what's called a controller view in a bit. But for now, let's just pass our array into our channel list and have it access the array as one of its properties. Okay, so now that we can access our array within our channel list, what's the best way to render multiple channels? We need to somehow iterate over the array of channel objects and create a channel component for each array element. Our goal is to make a new array of channel components, which the React runtime will eventually render. There's a couple ways of doing this, but the simplest is to use the map array method. We'll call map, passing a callback function as the first parameter. Our callback function will get called on each element of the array giving us access to the channel data. Then what we return from the callback function will make up the new array elements. So the bottom line is, we just need to return a channel component from our callback. Let's use the new ES2015 fat arrow syntax to declare the callback function. We still need to send the channel name to each channel component. We can do this by accessing each channel object's name property. Now let's save our file, then we'll refresh the page, and as you can see, we get two channels rendered. We still have our click handler set up. Let's open the console and click each of these channels. And as you see, we get a different message based on which channel we clicked. Okay, so we've got a couple of hard-coded channels being rendered. How would we go about dynamically adding a channel at runtime? Well, stay tuned, that's what we'll cover in the next video.